Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Tashini Nirmalaraja and I'm so excited to join all of you today, especially those of you who have not been in part of these programs before. I welcome you all and to my regulars, hello again. Let's go into this journey a little bit deeper today. Today I wanted to speak to you all about womb health. All of the beautiful women watching today we all have a womb and this area is the part of our uterus. It is all to do with our reproductive organs. And so many women are suffering at the moment around the world because we don't understand that part of ourselves very well and we are not taught this at school. So I'm gonna go through a couple of key things that you need to know today and some amazing techniques to open this area up. So who am I? I'm actually a Chinese medicine doctor and I'm also a global energetic specialist. I have worked with thousands of patients around the world, mostly women, but also a lot of men, and allowed them to understand their bodies in a way that has not been taught to them at school. I combine both Western medicine science, I combine Chinese, energy, uh, Chinese medicine, and also my new energy medicine that I have created to give you everything that to allow you to open up to your own you know wisdom and your own capabilities as a human being because being human is exceptional we just haven't been able to tap into higher states of consciousness within us but we can all do this the other thing is that there are a couple of things that we need to look out for when it comes to our hormones because if any of you are watching today who suffer from gynecological issues like PCOS, endometriosis, if you get really bad PMS or your young daughters are going through really bad PMS, if any of you are going through menopause, some it'll be worse than others. For some of you, you might even be having a hysterectomy or even cancer, like cervical cancer in this area. For some of you, you might even be going on the fertility journey and I've again worked with thousands of couples as well to help them fall pregnant into more of a natural way and also through IVF. So there's so much that happens within our lives that connect to the womb. But if you think back at school, what were you taught about the womb? Probably not much and probably not much when it came to your periods as well. If you watch my video that I'm also going to share with you, which was done at the Best You Expo, in, um, which was held in Los Angeles in the US, they asked me to speak about the womb. And in that talk, I talk about the superpowers of our menstrual blood that most people don't know about. So I do encourage you to watch that first before you watch this video. But in that, I do talk about that a lot of us thought of menstrual blood as something that was shameful growing up. You know, we didn't talk about it. We used to whisper, you know, for a pad or a tampon to our friends and then quickly run to the toilets because we're so ashamed of talking about it publicly. And even when we watch ads on TV, they use blue liquid. They don't even use red liquid because it's so offensive. So we've been raised as women to feel ashamed of that part of ourselves. And for a lot of you, I want you to think back to your first menstrual cycle. Was it something that was celebrated? Was it something that you were told was negative and that it was painful and it was bad? You know, what was your response to your first period? Because this was your first connection to that area. And you would have been listening to your mum, your family, your sisters, your aunties. They were all responding to their cycles in a certain way. All friends were talking about it in a certain way. This all shaped the way you communicate with your womb. And I get so many young girls who see me who have their first periods. And the first thing they say to me is, I hate my period. And I just think, oh my goodness, this is the worst thing to say. You're sending hate to that area. You're sending frustration and anger at your womb. And this is not the way to live. Because as soon as we do that, we develop all sorts of other problems. So I encourage you, after watching this video, to look at where you are in your cycle. 
because our cycle is a roughly a 28 day process for most women. And every day you will feel a different sensation. And every week through your cycle, your hormones behave in different ways. Some will be increasing in estrogen or progesterone or you know, there's a mixture of beautiful hormones that interplay. Or some of you might be on the pill. And again, the pill is not going to be regulating your hormones. They will be shutting them down as synthetic hormones are being released in your body. And so many women don't know that when you bleed on the pill, it is not a real bleed. It is a fake bleed. And it's just because you're bleeding, because the lining is being stimulated, because the synthetic hormones are being removed. It is not a real period. You could literally skip it. So that's one thing I did. I came off the pill so that I could reconnect to my body. So I just want you all to be educated so that you make the right choices. If you're using it for contraception, great. But know that that's what you're using it for and not for regulating your period cycles because it can cause a lot of issues going later towards life when you're trying to have a baby as well, which I see all the time in clinic. So the other thing is as well with our hormones, because something is happening differently all the time, we need to be aware of our bodies. It is a separate language that we need to pay attention to because your cycle, your period is literally a report card. It is a medical report of how your body, how it's feeling and its symptoms. And your body will be giving you symptoms all the time. You're just not aware of it. So for me, I always notice that during my period or when I'm coming up to my period, I might start to get really hungry. I might start getting a little bit more tired. And I know these are my warning signs to slow down. This is a time of going inwards. So as women, we do need to slow down during our period because this is the natural process and the cyclical nature of a woman. So I want you to pay attention. How do you feel when you get your period? Do you tend to push against the grain and still go 100 miles an hour or do you slow down? Because this is an important time as your body opens up in such a way that you are more connected to the universe than any other time. Because the veil between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind is very thin. And so you can access those two gateways. Have you ever noticed that coming up to your period, you have, you dream a lot more, you're more restless, right? Because that veil is starting to become thin. So pay attention to that. Journal how you're feeling, write down things that are coming up for you. Because when you bleed, you shed your lining, you shed your emotion and everything will be released from that month and from the trauma that's been sitting in the depths of your womb. So this is a great way to connect to that area by just talking and writing and speaking to her like she's your best friend. You know, one thing I always do coming up to that area or any time of my cycle where I feel lost or I don't feel centred, I'll literally place my hands there and say, I'm here, I'm listening, I love you, I'm listening. What is it that you want to tell me? And I just sit because you will hear a voice, you will hear something, a message that will come up. And this is your primal voice. It's your original epicenter of your voice. It began here. And you'll feel it's different from your mind because your mind is in trauma. It's always going a million miles an hour from the past. But here it's different. Even though we're wounded in this area, it has its own gateway to take you into an inner guidance system altogether. So ask that area anytime you need to make a decision in your life. Ask your womb. She will always guide you in the right direction. And I have seen this. I mean, this is going to sound woo-woo to you, but working with so many women and having the spiritual awakening has allowed women to journey so deep in their womb that they've seen their past lives. They've seen even times when they were in the womb of their mother and what she was feeling. I've seen men do this as well where they remember being in the womb of their mother. They've started dry reaching. They've started pushing like they were giving birth. 
because all these memories are being stored in the cells, in the tissues, in the DNA of your body and you have access to it. This is an experiential process that happens. It's not something that you can intellectualize in the mind. So I want you to connect to how you're feeling in your body and listen.